Hello everyone and welcome to this iMyMap6 video tutorial where I'll be showing you how you can get started very quickly with the software and start creating my maps straight away. So firstly, to create your my map, you need to select the new my map option, which is available in the welcome screen. So I select new my map. You'll notice that the select central image dialog box appears in a few categories. So you can click all to view all the central images, or you can do personal category, or my favorite is the 3D enhanced. So for this tutorial, I will be picking this central image and I'll click on choose. And you can see that the central image I selected has now been placed in the middle of my workplace to be used. And to edit the text, all I simply need to do is make sure the central image is selected and start typing. And hit enter to enter my text. So there you go, there's a new text entered. We are now ready to start drawing our main branches. To do this, you simply roll your cursor over the center of your selected image, and you'll notice you have the branch target available. And the branch target is made up of three colored circles. In the center, we have the red dot, which you use to draw standard branches. Outside of this is an orange circle, which is used to draw box branches. And outside of this is the green circle, which is used to draw relationship arrows. We are now going to draw a standard branch. So I click on the red circle in the center, hold down my mouse and drag, and as you can see, my branch will follow the location of my mouse. Once you're happy with the position, all you simply need to do is release your mouse. And as you can see, the branch has been drawn into position for me. So I'm simply going to type some text, I call this branch, hit enter, and the text has been added to my first branch. It's as simple as that. To create additional branches, you simply hover your mouse over the end of any branches within the software and the branch target will appear. Now, as of before, the red in the middle, this is to draw standard branches. The orange, this is to draw box branches. You can use these to enter more than one keyword to a branch. And the green, which you'll see on the end, this is for arrows. So if I go to the green, drag and drop to the next branch, you can see I get this green ring appearing to represent a target. And again, by there. Once you're happy, release your mouse, and you can see your arrow has been drawn for you. The new branch target is designed to make the creation of your maps more fluid. With the multi-draw branch options available directly from the target, you can save time as you no longer need to select options in the top ribbon or menu. If you want to be more creative with your mind mapping, you can also draw with the freehand branches style enabled. In the ribbon toolbar above, you can see I have a draw category with the option freehand. And as freehand says here, it changes the draw mode to freehand. So when a new branch is drawn, it will be in the freehand style. So I click this to enable it. You can see that freehand has become selected. And again, if I go to the red create new branch option, the branch now follows my mouse on the canvas. So there's my new branch. And I'll do it from this one as well. Freehand. And the freehand is really, really useful if you have, say, a touch screen, like on a laptop, or a tablet device rather than using a mouse. It makes the my maps much more creative and dynamic. So I'll call this branch freehand, exactly the same. With the branch selected, you simply type your text. If you sometimes want to create branches really quickly, you can achieve this by using the keyboard shortcut keys. It's very useful when you're in meetings or brainstorming sessions. There's two main keyboard keys to learn, and I'll demonstrate this now. If I select this branch here, grandchild, so I click on it, you can see that the branch has become selected. The tab key on my keyboard will create new branches that extend from the current active branch. So if I simply hit on tab, you can see that a new branch has been added after the grandchild branch. So I'll call this new. And if I hit tab again, this branch new is now selected and active. Again, a new branch appears off the end of new, and I'll call this tab, that's with the key. If you want to create a branch on the same level, so a sibling with tab, you use the enter key. 
So this time I'll hit enter. And there you go, you see a new branch has been drawn for me and it's on the same level as tab. And I will call this one key. I hit enter again. I'll call this new branch enter. It's that quick, that easy. And to navigate around, you simply use your arrow keys on your laptop or your computer and you can see that the active branch with the blue dots moves and is always centered in the middle of your canvas to enable you to radiate out and not impede on your creativity. If you want to learn more about the speed mind mapping functionality, you can review the standalone speed mind mapping video tutorial. Okay, so we've now created our first branches and we may decide that you want to move or readjust the location of some of your branches, just make your map look a little bit better. Unfortunately, this is very easy to do in iMyMap 6. When we looked earlier at the branch target, you'll notice there was a blue ring as well. And this blue half ring, this represents move and edit. All you need to do is simply click and drag with your mouse and you can see that the branch and any descendants follow the location of your cursor. So for this selection, I'm going to move this all closer to the central image, release my mouse, and you can see that's moved the location. And I'll also move box branch here. Again, from the end, the branch target, click on the blue ring and move it to my desired location. It's as simple as that. Staying on the topic of blue prompts within the software, you will also notice the blue control points situated on the active branches. So every branch I select, that becomes active and the dots in the branch become blue. Now these blue dots, we call them control points. And if you click and drag these, you can easily customize the shape of your branches. So blue dot, click, drag, blue dot, click, drag. These give you a lot more detailed customization to really make the map pop and appear the way that you want it to. And if you want to add additional control points, simply hold shift on your keyboard, click on an empty space in your branch, and you can see that a new control point has been added for me. So a quick recap of what we've just achieved. We looked at the branch target. If you click on the red, you draw branches. We looked at changing between the freehand and the default organic branches. So if I flick this back to organic branch mode, draw some new branches. By adding text, you select branches and simply type. And there you go, the, brand, the text appears for you. And to move and reposition, use the blue elements. Very quick, very easy. There's also many formatting options within iMyMap 6. And the easiest way to access these both on Windows and Mac is to simply select the branch you'd like to format. So if I select the first branch, you can see that this branch editor appears. And the closer I get to the editor, the more visual it becomes. And the further I move away, the opacity drops down so it's in the background. Now there's a few options. You can change the fonts. You can change the fonts sizes, bold, italics, even the alignment of the keywords on the branches. You can convert between box branches and default organic branches. You get new formatting options to change colors, to change box branch shapes, which is really, really cool. You can change the color of your text. You can easily change the color of the branches itself as well, change it to green. We even have insert options available on the branch editor. So if I click on this one, which is show the notes panel, I can actually type in my first note directly onto the branch. And you can insert audio notes, you can insert links to websites, other documents, icons, images, or your own sketches. So let's insert a quick sketch. And I'm going to draw a smiley face. And insert. And that's now been attached to my branch, as you can see. Now that was a very, very quick overview of the formatting options and some of the inserting options. Again, we have standalone video tutorials that go into these in much more depth, but I just want to show you what you can do very, very quickly with the software.
something else I want to share with you before. Something else I want to share with you are the document views for the software. Now in iMind Map 6, as default, all new maps start in the My Map view. This is a 2D view where you can capture ideas, draw, customize with the format options, and even add extra flavor such as notes and images and audio notes. But we also have the new enhanced 3D view. So here's our map in the 3D environment. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see we have the 3D controller to move and pan around your workspace. You can also simply drag and move or click on branches to zoom in on that location. What's really nice for iMyMap 6 is that we now have background environments to add that extra level of creativity and you can really see the 3D environment. You can see your map moving around in the workspace. But what's most powerful is that you can now continue to my map as you would in the 2D but in the 3D environments. So the branch target we looked at earlier is available. I'll draw this and call it 3D. And I draw a box branch as well, same as earlier. Call this wow. And we looked at how you can insert earlier. This is also available. As you can see, by selecting the branch, the branch editor is also now available in iMyMap 6's 3D view. So again, we'll add a new note here and we'll call this wow. That is so cool. You can see the little note icons appeared on the branch. So that's a quick overview of iMyMap 6. Please take some time to have a look at the other video tutorials available so you can really get the most out of the software and review each feature in more depth. Thank you.